That's good. Hello, everyone. It's been a long week after the conference, traveling back and forth, getting sick exactly after I came back home. However, we have some exciting news in the nuclear area, as you can see from the title of this video. So I had to make a video about it and give you all of the breakdown as to what's happening, as well as my input as a nuclear physicist. Make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video because I have some exciting news for you. Without further ado, let's get into it. Constellation just signed its largest ever power agreement, a 20 year deal with Microsoft that will bring back into operation the Unit 1 reactor of the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant. Wait, wait, did you just say Three Mile Island? The nuclear power plant where the biggest ever nuclear accident in the US happened? Yes and. What I mean is that the nuclear power plant Three Mile Island has two units, two nuclear reactors. The unit number two is where the loss of coolant accident happened in 1979. However, the unit one was operational and was working normally until 2019 when it was decided to shut down for financial reasons. Both reactors are pressurized water reactors or PWRs, which means that the reactor vessel is under pressure which makes the water not boil at 100 degrees so in the vessel the water is always in liquid phase and then it is transferred to a secondary loop where another water loop is transformed into steam and then driven into the steam turbines the accident in the unit 2 started with a steam generator pump failure which automatically scrammed the reactor due to false equipment reading the reactor core was not cooled significantly therefore the temperature rose to levels that the fuel started melting inside the vessel while this was happening the operators had no idea since the readings that they were getting from their panels were not the actual ones of the situation that was happening inside the reactor. Even so, uh, partially the fuel melted inside the reactor core, the accident was contained with minimal environmental release and no human casualties, so good job Three Mile Island. And the Unit 2 is currently under decontamination and decommissioning. If you wanna know more about the deeds of what happened during the accident, let me know in the comments down below and I can make a separate video about that. Okay, so now that we are on the same page about which reactor is getting back online and which reactor is not getting back online, why is this a big deal? Well, the Unit 1 reactor of the Three Mile Island will add an approximately 800 megawatt to the grid, which will directly be sold to Microsoft. Did I mention carbon free? Microsoft will be using this power to power their data centers. Now, these are data centers that need insane amounts of uh, energy in order to operate. Microsoft during 2023 consumed 24 terawatt hours of energy, which is more than what 150 countries individually consume. What? Countries like Iceland, Croatia, Puerto Rico, or half of Greece consume less than what Microsoft needs to power its data centers. Now, from a business perspective, this decision makes a lot of sense. Microsoft pretty much secures a stable price for electricity for approximately one third of the power that they need and the power that they consume, which means that they will rely less on the grid less on the instabilities that the grid will have or any kind of fluctuations. They will still, of course, rely on things like uranium prices, but that amounts for only about 15% of the total cost of running a nuclear power plant. So in a way, they are pretty much securing a reliable carbon-free 24-7 on energy that will power around one third of the consumptions that they have. All in all, this deal isn't just about bringing back to life an old nuclear power plant, but it's about the future of clean and reliable energy mix. It is a new way to look at things where if countries have decided to include nuclear power in their energy mix, instead of complaining about delays of construction and overrun budgets of building yet another time a one-of-a-kind nuclear power plant, one can think outside of the box and use perfectly reusable existing nuclear power plants that might have shut down for not the most clever or logical reasons. <coughs> Germany. All in all, I believe this is a new way to look at things and I will definitely be following the updates that will come and will absolutely keep you in the loop about them. I have linked a few articles in the description down below where you can read more about this decision as well as about the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant. 
like what you see, some new and exciting designs might be coming up. So stay tuned and I will make a separate video about those as well as a release date. But now I want to know, what do you think? Go Microsoft or what were they thinking? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more news on nuclear energy and turn on the bell notification icon. It's been Elina, your friendly nuclear physicist and until next time, stay curious, stay nuclear.